Okay, this video is going to look at how to make dormer windows. One thing to note is that most of the shapes that make up the building actually overlap. They're not just touching. This makes it uh, more likely to print successfully if we print and just makes it easier to work with. I'm going to select both the roof and main building and type a T to turn them transparent and that allows us to see inside and really see how uh, most of the shapes really overlap. Okay, to make the dormers I'm going to drag out a box and a roof shape. The box comes in at 20 millimeters on a side so I need to raise the roof to 20 millimeters by using the lifting cone there. Notice the two numbers in the boxes are changing and the bottom right hand number is how high I've lifted it total or how high it is total. Um, I have, I'm just going to go ahead and type a 20 in there to make it exact. I'll select both of those shapes and I can either type an L or use the align button. And in, when looking from above I'll click the center circles to align the two shapes perfectly. And then I'm going to make some adjustments by holding shift and shrinking uh, both shapes. And I'm going to uh, get the size about right and adjust the colors. Next I'm going to duplicate and shrink the rectangle. And click my Fit View to Selected Shapes button so I can zoom in and I'm going to turn this into a hole. I want the hole to be about one and a quarter or one and a half millimeters in the rectangle so that both it'll look good and it will 3D print well. So I'm going to notice that my units are 0.25 millimeters and I'm going to use my arrow keys to move the box uh, in this case one and a quarter millimeters inside the solid. I'm going to hold off on grouping these shapes for the moment, but I'm going to move, uh, move them up into position, and a rough position anyway, and again use my Fit View button or type an F, and I'm going to resize and play with uh, the placement of the dormer. Now that I have it looking about the way I want it to, I can uh, group the shapes and select multicolor to preserve their colors. Next I want to align the dormer to the main roof. So I'm going to select both the dormer and the main roof, click the align button or type an L, and then I'm going to click back on the roof so that the dormer aligns to the roof. And you can see in the orange preview that that's what's going to happen. Now I'm going to duplicate the dormer and I'm going to adjust my units to 5 millimeters from 0.25 so I can make uh, bigger moves. And I'm going to move that dormer window over several uh, in one direction, and then I'm going to duplicate and move it over to the left the same amount. Now I'm going to select all three windows, and I'm going to duplicate them. And I'm going to use my arrow key to move them through the roof to the other side and I'm going to adjust my units back down to 0.25 for finer adjustments. I need to spin the windows around so I could either use the rotate tool here with all, all, on all three of them, but I'm going to use the mirror button instead. And the two arrows are asking me which direction to mirror and I want to mirror in this direction. And so it's flipped them and now they're facing the right way and I just need to adjust them into the building a bit. And there you have one approach for making dormer windows.